Hey there, Aries. This is Renee, and welcome back. Aries, this is going to be the, a reading for your next 48 hours. What's coming next, your next 48 hours? What can you expect in your next 48 hours? Okay. Um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Okay, Aries, let's get some of your energy. What's going on with Aries? You may feel the need to surrender. I can release my need to control. Okay, let's get some more energy. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> okay, and we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And we also have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay, Aries. I feel like whatever you're working on the next 48 hours, I feel like, you know, you may need to release some of the control. Not try to control every aspect of whatever it is that you're doing. Because I, I feel like Spirit is letting you know to just go with the flow in the situation. To, that you have the ability to do anything you put your mind to because you are very very powerful Aries this could be in love this could be in your career this could be in your life in general um, but I feel like you have the ability to do whatever your heart desires because you know you try to take control of the situation but spirit is letting you know you know let loose of some of that control and just surrender to the divine let it flow and happen naturally don't try to force anything and I believe that's where the denial is coming through because I acknowledge the fear that but I replace it with insight and awareness so I've, I feel like Aries just by knowing that you can do whatever you desire, you know, you can bring forward whatever you need to accomplish, whatever goals you have, whatever you're trying to succeed in. But, you know, by forcing that and having too much control in the situation and not letting the universe do its flow, you're kind of in denial that... Um, these things can happen in your life so just don't try to force things let things flow naturally Aries now let's take a look at the tarot let's see what tarot has to say and let's get some more insights what do we have for Aries the next 48 hours <laughs> message for Aries the next 48 hours please spirits And we have the four, uh, excuse me, the five of swords. Let's see, the knight of cups. The page of pentacles. And the star. Beautiful. Okay. At the bottom we have the page of swords. Okay, so there's a little bit of all the energy here. Um, I feel like there there's some kind of challenge that you're going through there's some kind of challenges and i feel like this knight of cups this is like you finding the answers to whatever this challenge is you coming to some kind of awareness that you know 
will kind of solve this issue. You may be in some kind of conflict or having some kind of heated discussion with someone close to you. With this Five of Swords, you know, this is, the swords are thoughts, thinking, being aware, you know, your intellect. But it can also be conflicts and chaos when we get into the Five of Swords. So I feel like whatever this is, Aries, I feel like you are kind of riding on your emotion in this situation. Something may have you all tied up in your emotions. But with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like this Page of Pentacles is someone reliable who you can depend on, who's going to help you through some kind of healing, some kind of rejuvenation with this star card. Someone's going to help you be more aware of a, of a certain situation. You know, with the star card, this can also be you having hope in the situation but the star is also miracles that you may not see it's also being the spotlight wishing upon that star and um, having the ability to manifest what that wish is what that miracle is in your life okay um, but I believe that there's a reliable person here there's someone who cares very deeply for you um, there's someone who's willing to be emotional with you, if that makes sense, Aries. And I'm really getting with this Knight of Cups. This is someone that you don't have to control your emotions with. This is someone that you can just freely be yourself and freely show whatever this is that you know, maybe afflicting you at the moment. And I'm, I'm getting the word afflicting for some reason. Okay. Okay. Aries, let's clarify this a little bit. Let's get some more clarifying information. I'm using another deck to clarify. So, okay. What do we have for the... Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords spirit? What is this Five of Swords for Aries? Two of Pentacles in reverse. The needing to prioritize the world. Wow, all of these are in reverse. Okay. Okay, so Aries, the Five of Swords. This is you really needing to make a decision take some some kind of action so that a situation can so that your goal can be achieved but i feel like you may be resting too much there's something that you're overthinking about you're not able to prioritize the information to complete this situation you're, you're not quite aware of everything that you need to be. I feel like that's the reason why we have this awareness here. You know, you may be in denial about a situation. Um, but in order to become complete, we, we need to flip these cards over. And take them in their upright position. There needs to be some kind of priority some kind of situation where it's more balanced, more focused. So that this complete completion, so this goal that you're trying to achieve, whatever this is that you're trying to complete, can come into reality. Until then, it's like 
waiting, like in limbo, like it's not finished, okay? And with the, the Four of Swords, you may be resting too much. Um, and I apologize for saying this, but I'm, I'm feeling like a little, I, I feel a little laziness not able to kind of get moving not able to uh, take the first step in the situation you're kind of stuck maybe you're stuck in your thinking and your emotions but that's that's what needs to happen Aries I feel like you're resting too much on the situation there's too much time that maybe being wasted <clears throat> and you may be doing that kind of going through the motions and thinking because with the four of swords you may be taking time thinking about the situation but maybe you're doing too much overthinking okay uh tell me about this five excuse me tell me about this knight of cups what is this knight of cups spirit tell me about the knight of cups okay we have the seven of cups the nine of swords and the four of cups definitely doing too much overthinking and i feel like you have too many priorities you have too many things on the table aries and i feel like you are having a hard time choosing which one to start you're having a time a hard time getting motivated to <clears throat> get into the energy to finish just one of these things I feel like these are, are the things that you have to accomplish. You know, you have so many things on the table. And I feel like with this Four of Swords energy and the Four of Cups, you're having a hard time getting motivated. Something is keeping you unmotivated, whether it be fear or doubt or just lack of energy, feeling very overwhelmed. So, in order to accomplish this, I feel like the Knight of Cups is letting you know to take one step at a time. Take one step at a time, okay? And if you feel overwhelmed in your feelings, to, you know, gain support from outside. Gain support for, from someone that you care about, someone who cares about you. And you are going to be able to accomplish this goal. But the, the Knight of Cups, this is maybe someone coming in to help you. Someone coming in to motivate you into this situation. Okay? Uh, to show you support. Okay. Spirit, give me a message for the Page of Pentacles. What is this Page of Pentacles, please? The Seven of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, that's the Six of Swords. Okay. With this Page of Pentacles, I feel like this page is someone reliable. This, is, this may be a young person. Um, someone may be younger than you. But I feel like this person is very reliable they're very trustworthy there's someone that you can depend on if you need help so this may be someone that you kind of go to when you're kind of need focus you need a little push a little drive to you know move forward but i feel like this person this page of pentacles whoever this is aries this person is helping you get moving they're helping you focus. They're helping you move along on your journey. Whatever this is, whether it be thoughts, emotions, or what have you, whatever project that you're working on, I feel like this Page of Pentacles is helping you get moving. They're helping you kind of stay calm, stay grounded, um, gain your balance as she's moving into this new destination. She's taking her, her lessons with her, you know, but 
she that's all she's carrying all she's carrying is these swords and her child she's not carrying any other baggage so I feel like whatever I feel like this is saying Aries to focus on one project at a time whatever this is whether it be love career or just your life in general I feel like you're trying to be focused to like clear away the extra stuff um, and I feel like this page of Pentacles is helping you kind of take focus and do that you're able to focus on one thing at a time and I feel like that's helping you have more drive more creative ideas um, see th this page he's walking away from this person maybe you need to walk away from a certain situation maybe a project that you're working on or something in your life that's just not working but you're still trying to focus your energy on it so maybe this page is letting you know that you know it's time to stop working on this issue stop working on this project it's just not working we need to try another option we need to try another opportunity okay okay we have the nine of pentacles so i feel like whatever you're doing whichever opportunity you choose and i feel like you're going to be trying a few different options if if this is something that you're working on i feel like you're doing too many things at once but i feel like you're going to find that one that's going to bring you a lot of A lot of stability this is wealth this is the wealthy lady you know she's she's able to focus but she's also able to do the work on her own and not really depend on someone else's presence you know she, she's able to focus on her own on things alone she's able to she's able to work alone very efficiently you know she's a solitary person and she also and I don't know why I'm I'm kind of feeling that you may be solitary maybe that's the reason why you need to ask for help maybe you're spending too much time alone um, but she's very self-sufficient. She's gaining her financial ground. And I feel like whatever you're doing, maybe you're focused too much on work. But um, she's very independent, very self-sufficient. So I feel like somewhere in this reading, you are gaining some kind of self-sufficiency. You're <clears throat> relying on your own abilities. And sometimes we can rely on our own abilities too much to where we feel like we don't need any help. Okay, so that's kind of the message that I'm getting. Okay, tell me more about this star. What is this star energy, please? <laughs> yeah, the star, look at this. The star is clarified by the star. So definitely healing. Definitely finding some kind of renewal being rejuvenated and that that's beautiful to see because spirit is clarifying you're getting healing whatever the situation is you're gaining your healing this could also be hope inner clarity the feeling of being renewed um, having your wishes come true you know being the spotlight having faith okay um, more messages for the star please yeah, you're getting you're getting the clarity that you need. Something is becoming more clear. Some some kind of answers, some kind of truth that you're looking for. And <laughs> look at this. Yeah, you, you're getting that spark, that spark of creative, creative ability. You know, and I apologize. I'm having a hard time talking today. It's just not coming out the way it's supposed to flow. So, but with this, with this star 
the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, this is clear. This is beautiful energy because this is kind of breakthrough energy. You're getting, you're becoming more aware. You are sparking that ins inspired action that you need to do. There's some kind of gifts being offered for you. I feel like spirit is letting you know to just hold tight. Go with the flow. The whatever spark that you're waiting for is coming. You just have to rely on the ability that going with the flow is going to bring you through instead of trying to control it. Okay, let's get... Let's clarify this a little bit more. Let's get some more messages for Aries. Okay, what what else does Aries need to know, Spirit? Give me another message for Aries, please. Give me another message for Aries. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. The King of Cups. And the Seven of Wands. Okay. Okay, Aries. So, with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like there's definitely someone who is helping you in the situation. Uh, this is you having more patience. Going with the flow of the situation. Kind of letting it move. Or kind of... <clears throat> take mold. Instead of trying to force a situation. Because you're moving into a more calmer space. This is the second time we're getting the Six of, of Swords. So I feel like you're, you're kind of moving in the right direction. You're moving into a better situation. A better space. Uh, with the King of Cups, this could be some kind of... This could be love coming in. Someone coming to support, to nurture... To be empathetic to the feelings that you're having. He's dipping both of his feet in the water. So he's very emotional. He's very happy. Supportive. Um, but he knows how to control those feelings. He knows how to control what he feels. He's very calm. Very nurturing. Okay. This may be someone who's coming in your life that's offering those attributes. We have the Seven of Wands. So with the Seven of Wands, I feel like, you know, whatever this is that you're doing, I, I feel like there may be competition. There may be other people doing the same thing. You may have more than one people working on a certain project or you may have people kind of in the same kind of situation I'm getting. But I, I feel like you, Aries, are the one who has the victory. Look at this. He's putting those those six wands down. He's, he's not even focused on all six of those wands. He's just carrying this one. This one wand. And I feel like these leaves are like ideas. Achievements, goals to be completed. Okay, so I feel like that's your focus. I feel like you're focused on the important things. The well, what is important to you? <clears throat> and I feel like you're you're kind of protecting that energy. Okay, with the, the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, the Queen of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. And the Moon. Definitely. I'm loving this energy. At the bottom, we have the Knight of, Knight of Cups. So, I mean, definitely, we have the Knight of Cups twice. So, if this is dealing with love, Aries, this is... This is... Possibly your knight in shining army that's coming in to kind of offer you some help. You could have some kind of proposal, some kind of offering 
that's coming through if if you are open to love if that is what this is is a love reading for you and take it how it resonates but I feel like some sort of gift is being offered to you from this Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like there's there's several different people in your reading. You have a lot of people surrounding you at the moment. A lot of people are offering you help, guidance, and just support. Okay? Uh, but I feel like someone is offering you something that maybe you find very valuable. Maybe they want to invest time into you. They want to offer some kind of guidance that's going to bring you some kind of offer, new investment. Um, this could also be a promotion or a raise. Um, with this Knight of Pentacles, this could be the person offering this to you. <clears throat> but you also have the paid, excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever the situation is, you are becoming more stable, more grounded you are able to focus more and I feel like you just needed to take time and get out of your head so much so that you could focus on what this is that you're trying to bring forward um, but now now we see that you found your focus you're gaining your abundance your stability you're you know working on yourself you're taking advantage of whatever resources you have in front of you you know so I feel like you are focused on what it is that you want. You've regained your focus and your awareness. So that's beautiful energy. And I feel like it's gaining you success. It's gaining you recognition. People are seeing your value. They're seeing that you are someone that is very successful very popular is what I'm getting okay and we have the moon <clears throat> now I, I feel like these are some kind of changes that you're making but I feel like you're trusting more you're trusting yourself more you're trusting in your vision as you walk along the path you you're kind of seeing your path more clearly Behind the moon is the sun. So I feel like whatever the situation is, you are gaining your happiness. Once your awareness is at its peak, you know, and you let things just go with the flow, I feel like you're, you're gaining your happiness because you're able to move forward with more ease, with, with more grace. Okay, let's get some Moonology cards. What does Moonology have to say about this situation? Let's get some Moonology. <clears throat> okay, we have Show the World the Real You. Full Moon in Aquarius. Beautiful. It's time to take action. New Moon in Aries. There, I knew you were going to show up. I knew if I wasn't going to see the Emperor, I was going to see some kind of Aries energy. The energy is gaining momentum. So whatever it is that you're doing, Aries, don't give up. Um, don't let things kind of make you drift into that place where, where you're like stagnant. Keep moving. Keep building. Because you are very able to do whatever you take action on so take action in your situation you know show the world just how beautiful Aries is you could be male or female but abundance is yours okay the the energy is gaining so take advantage of that energy while it's gaining momentum because that's when your manifestations, whatever it is that you're manifesting, is going to really take momentum as well. And things are going to start flowing to you. You may also want to, you know, meditate 
on the situation. Whatever this is, this could be love. Like I said, this could be something general. This could be career. This could be your life. But take time to stay grounded and meditate. Um, the more you meditate, the more you're able to focus your mind and bring forward what it is that you are looking for in your life. Okay? Okay, so that is what I have for you. I'm sorry this reading went so long, Aries. Um, but I hope this resonates. If it does, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And... Take a look at your February reading for more clarity on your situation. Um, your sun, moon, and rising. Okay? And many blessings to you. Love and light.